watch as I make this. I create a alcohol ink background for my next dragon. I need to have something that kind of conveyed some heat. I think we got something here. So hang on tight as we make some background colors. Later. Hey everyone. I'm gonna work on another blended background, but this time I'm gonna try and work with colors that make it kind of represent fire, meaning something hot. Uh, so I'm gonna be using some deep red tones, a uh, little bit of yellow, uh, and then some nice, nice really saturated reds. So we've got a couple of yellows here, pinata and uh, ranger, and then some of my mid-tone colors, uh, cranberry, lipstick red from Copic, uh, and then really deep color and a medium tone there, aubergine and dark red. So again, we're gonna try and just do a smooth transition um, and then do something intentional over top of it in resin. Or may even do an alcohol ink piece on top of this. I'm hoping that this will be a nice backdrop for maybe a dragon. I think that might be fun. So let's see how this turns out. Because it can't be lame if it's going to be a dragon, right? All right, so the key part with things that are hot is you basically want, yeah, that's where my particles came from before. I had some particles on the last piece. I think it was some dried up ink, which I'm now reactivating because of the alcohol. All I'm doing there is just making sure that that piece of dried up ink really gets dissolved well so it doesn't leave any texture. All right, so how do we want this to be? So I'm gonna kind of do the dark tones here, get some medium and a little bit of light over here and a little bit of light over there. That's kind of the general thought. Hopefully we don't make it look like it's a bloodbath over here. And I just did it again. Okay, so mental note, if you're opening up Copic or any inks, you probably shouldn't do it over your canvas. Well, this will happen. Right. Sorry, it's starting to dry up over here before I finish adding my colors. So I want to hit it with a little bit extra alcohol so this whole thing dries up around the same time. Because this is a key part if you want to do something that has a nice overall blend to it, is you kind of saturate the credit out of your board. All right. So I'm gonna put some of this golden sunshine yellow, which is kind of like a golden yellow, in here occasionally, and then do a couple drops of yellow on the outside. Let's see if I can get one out here. All right, hopefully I didn't do too much yellow. I'm just gonna move this back and forth a bit, try to get some of these colors blended. 
Make a mess on my table. Let's see if I need to add any. Don't you just love the way color works sometimes? I mean, how can you plan that? All right, well, let me see if I can salvage this. I'm gonna streak this one part out. So hopefully you can hear me, but I am just basically hovering over this, going back and forth. By moving your air around, it gets everything evenly dry, and you don't get that many harsh lines, or it helps minimize the harsh lines, that's, that's probably more accurate. And I've got this on the low heat too. happen that easy okay I'm gonna try and reduce down some of the yellow here by adding alcohol here bring hmm. I really like it blended though I don't know Actually, I think I'm going to leave it here. Sometimes you just got to know when to say when and stop. And uh, This was pretty easy. I'm stopping here. Let me bring you guys in for a close-up. Hang on. Here we go. So it does have a sense of heat to it. I like that. It doesn't say it's exactly fire. It just kind of represents something that has a fire look to it. Sorry, I shifted the white balance on that real quick. Oh, there it goes again. Sorry. So I'm happy that line there stayed as soft as it did. And this over here. That was pretty cool. I don't know. That turned out better than I expected. Sometimes things just happen. Yay. All right. So hit the subscribe button. Hit the like if you like this. But more importantly, hit the bell so you can notify the next time I put something up. Until then, later.